pissed off. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Transformers, right? Transformers are pretty cool, but it turns out Transformers can get pretty weird sometimes, you know? Like everybody knows Optimus and Starscream and Megatron and Bumblebee. But not everybody knows the weird stuff, you know? The dark side of the brand. No, 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 no. Not that side. This side, you know? The uh, ridiculously product placement-y sell-out madness side of the brand, you know? Like, remember this from the jazz episode? A goddamn stamp? <laughs> what? You know? Uh, well, there's so much more where this came from, right? Example, McDonald's. <laughs> We all know the Golden Arches has had, like, a pretty interesting run when it comes to promotional toys, you know? But there's never been a more curious promotional toy than this guy right here, you know? All right, so let's run down some facts. The cold, hard facts. Oh my god, what is my voice? In 1996, McDonald's had a promotion where, with your Happy Meal, you'd get a Transformers toy. We've all experienced this, you know? Same old, same old, right? Well, no. No, it wasn't. This time it was different. Because something strange happened. A hiccup in the McDonald's system. The commercial tells you there are four possible Transformers figures. And four possible Littlest Pet Shop toys to collect. But they were lying. <laughs> oh, they were lying. So, some lucky kids in 1996 would open up their Happy Meals, only to find this thing staring back at them. Now, some things straight off the bat. Beast Wars is pretty hard for a lot of pure Transformers fans to swallow. Uh, seemingly bio-organic creatures that shed their skin, or like their fur, to reveal their true robotic bodies underneath. And that's all well and good, but like, why would the alt mode just be ahead, you know? In what world? <laughs> in what world is a lion head just walking around, you know? It seems odd, right? So odd, in fact, that they didn't even advertise it on the commercial. Ouch, right? Holy shit. I'd be lying if I said I'd <laughs> forgot about that one. Um, I'd be lying if I said that didn't sting a bit, you know? Poor guy. Not only that, but they didn't even give him a real name. Check out this bag. Under three. What? Like, what did this guy do to deserve this, you know? It must have been horrible. It must have been so bad. But uh, let's take a closer look, right? He's a pretty cool bot. You know, he's black, silver, and red. And interestingly enough, his alt mode is entirely yellow. It's pretty cool, right? Shell former city, you know? But what a shell, right? Lion head with a hinge. It's pretty sweet. But uh, predictably, there's not a whole lot of official figures of this guy. For starters, BotCon 2016, Unit 3. Look at this guy. No longer under three. Now he's known as Unit 3. They added a bit of lore. He's now a maximal awesome. He's had a bit of memory loss. Pretty cool. Uh, and he's the only surviving member of a task force that was completely wiped out. Love it. Being the only survivor, he was scooped up and pressed for information. But due to his memory loss, he sort of just wants revenge, you know, for his fallen homies. What a guy, right? This one's based off the Streetwise Combiner Wars mold. Uh, I love him as a car bot so much. <laughs> He's like mostly black with like a yellow shell, much like the original. But uh, unlike the original, he's packing some serious shotgunny heat. Oh, and a hand foot gun that I usually ignore entirely. <laughs> you know, what a pair, right? Well, I mean, there's more though, you know. Have you seen how long this video is? <laughs> So from this point on, we're diving into real nerdy territory. Like everything from this point on, I've painted myself. Because I need more Unit 3 in my goddamn life. First up, the uh, one I saw online and had to copy. Look how good this one is. I just had to recreate it. It's the Legend Scale Optimus Prime version of the Swerve Mold from the thrilling 30s, I think. That's a lot of T's and a lot of H's. Holy shit. I love the reorganization of colors. The breakdown isn't 100%, but it's still purely Unit 3, you know? Next up, we got the Third Party Gears one. Hmm. This one is not my favorite, uh, but I feel like it does have an interesting color breakdown. I love the yellow being crowded around the head, just like the last one. Uh, the figure has some standing problems in general, so it's like not starting from the best place. But I can't help but think that he's been slightly improved now that he's been re-identified as Unit 3, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we got the Iron Factory one. He started out life as one of the brothers run, muck or about, 
whichever one isn't the white one, you know. He's good, you know. This one takes obvious inspiration from the Botcon figure. Uh, I love the red forearm detail spots. It's not perfect, but it's fun to see where things land when you force another character's template onto a very different figure, you know. Next up, we got the Tiny Movie Sideswipe one. Uh, this one's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I just had him lying around, and I figured, let's make him Unit 3, you know? Uh, normal thoughts. Completely normal. Uh, that's about it, though. That's all it took. Next up, we got the Tiny Cheetor one. Uh, this is my jam. My absolute goddamn jam. Mold works well in these colors. Check. Mold pays homage to the character's past as a feline. Check. Mold is tiny, and I love it. Check. Some of you may say it's a bit Shadow Panther, and you're not wrong. It's like Shadow Panther and Cheetor had a baby, and then it turned out the baby was a lion. Next up, we got the tiny uh, Primal one. Weird choice, right? I mean, repaint an Optimus Primal figure as a cat character? It is weird, but it's even weirder that it works so well. Like, check this out. Aside from missing a spot of silver on his chest, that's a damn near perfect fit. Holy crap. Next up, we got the Finger Puppet one. Cheetor again. My golly, I love him so much. Look at this and tell me it's not perfect. Go ahead. I'll wait. That's right. You can't. Next up, we got the Thundertron one. This one's insane. It's big and mostly a proof of concept thing. Like, I didn't finish this one to its fullest potential, but it totally works. Oh yeah, and uh, custom head from another figure. Like, has anyone else gone this level of custom crazy? Or, or, or is it just me? It's just me, isn't it? Oh, God damn it. Next up, we got the, the Vroom mold. That's hard to say. Uh, ever wonder what Unit 3 would look like in G1 style? Well, here you go. Uh, that's really it. <laughs> <laughs> I looked around for a figure that suited Unit 3, and I found a cheap one on eBay, and I made it so. It's like totally normal. Next up, we got the Leo Convoy Mini one. Uh, this may be my finest achievement to date. Like, it not only suits the robot side of him, but also pays tribute to the original shell former head, right? Holy shit, are you seeing this? Hey, Takara, hey, thanks for making this one. You don't know it? But you've, like, really made my day here, you know? <laughs> Next up, we got the Titan's Return version. Okay, so Titan Masters are tiny, so give me, like, a break here when critiquing this one. But, uh, look how incredible he is. He uses a custom faceplate from Shapeways. Uh, my boy over at Prize Inside really outdid himself. Uh, I love it. Now anyone can be a shell-forming, lion-headed weirdo. And last, but definitely not least, we got the full-on custom figure one like holy shit this one's made by Klejpol Klejpol I think it's Polish on Twitter and man oh man this is some beautiful goddamn work sir or madam holy shit it's made entirely from scratch I requested him to look somewhere between Combiner Wars and IDW style. And Camille totally nailed it. Like, look at these poses. The perfect box noggin with the visor mono eye sunglasses. Disapproving trapezoid mouth. Insane! He's proud to wear the maximal symbol right on his chest, front and center. Shiny silver chest vents carried over from the Combiner Wars Botcon figure. I love the yellow accents from his car mode. He's got red fists clenched and ready for battle. Red feeties, too. They've got a bit of a feline inspiration uh, from the time he was a lion, you know? Man, it's so crazy. I can't tell you how happy this goddamn figure makes me. It is insane. And that's it. That's all of my got, right? Unit 3. He's one of my all-time favorites. To me, he's a perfect example of the Transformers brand, you know? Humble, strange beginnings, over 20 years of engineering growth, and a million repaints. All right. <laughs> Bye. Please tell me it's not just me. God damn it. It's just me, isn't it? It's just me, isn't it? God damn it. Why? It's just me, isn't it? It's just me, right? It's just me, isn't it? It's been a half hour. Every unit? No. But also pays tribute to the... <laughs> some, some other eyes have to see this besides mine. <laughs> what am I saying?
<laughs> oh, God. Sorry, my leg is dead again. Ow. All right, we'll see if that's useful. I'm very tired. This was a 43-minute recording. Bop, 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 bop.